Hello and welcome back. In the last tutorial we created the sword object and the blood object and today I will show you how to create a very basic texture for our sword DDS, the NDDS and the MDDS. In the last clip I used Cinema 4D to create a very very basic UV map with the paint assistant. Normally it takes minutes up to hours but the automated uh, map is good enough for our project. It's nothing fancy but it works. If you use any other software than Cinema 4D, please don't ask me how to create a proper UV map. I have no clue, so please check out YouTube for a fitting tutorial. Okay, let's change to Mudbox. Okay, in the German tutorial I explained each single button. Today I will just show you the basics. So first things first, go to File, Import and select your sword object. If you get a weird display arrow like this, zoom in, there's the sword and zoom out, it disappears. Just select object list, perspective and set the field of view to something like 54. That's fine. Select paint tools, paint brush and click on the sword. You will create a new layer, call it texture and set the size to something like 1024. That's good enough for our simple texture. Press OK. Click on front, look through, zoom out, select stencil, press the arrow, add stencil and select the image of your sword. Go to the right, select your image Downsize it by pressing the S key and right mouse button. That's good enough. Yeah. Select the projection tool. Change the color to white and the size to something like 300. And set the mirror to local set. And now copy the whole image to your sword. That's a very, very fast way to create a very, very simple texture, okay? Normally it takes minutes up to hours, in this case it's seconds. But it's good enough for a beginner tutorial. I'll show you the better stuff in later tutorials. That's fine. Hide the image by pressing the Q key and change to perspective view, look through. There are a few white areas on the hilt. Select the white area and press F. Zoom in. Select material and set to gray. And there are several ways to fix that. You can use the clone tool or the projection tool with your image. Uh, we just used the proje proje projection tool and now I show you how to handle the clone tool. Just select the clone tool zoom in, change the size to something like 22, that looks fine, set the strength to 5 and turn off the mirror, Se select the area you want to copy, press control and left mouse button and paint over the white areas and do that with the whole texture. Of course you can use the projection tool as well, so select projection, select stencil, your image, turn it on, scale it up and copy the whole thing once again. So I spent five more minutes on the texture and it looks quite okay. It's nothing fancy but as already mentioned this is a tutorial for beginners, I want to show you the whole process and so I, I, I can't waste uh, hours on each single step. So this is good enough. You can spend hours on that, like uh, burn the whole thing to, to darken areas or dodge it to highlight areas and airbrush it and copy different images and whatsoever. I, I really hate texturing, so this is good enough. And select the diffuse texture, right click and 
export channel to PSD to Photoshop or export selected and save it as texture PNG on your desktop. I already did that and open it in Photoshop and this will be our first DDS. So download the NVIDIA DDS plugin. The download link is in the video description box and after installation go to file save as DDS and name it texture DDS and save it on the desktop. If there is an alpha in the image select DXT5 and if there is none select DXT1. For beginners just select DXT5 and save. This is our first DDS file, the diffuse map. The second one will be the MDDS, the so-called specular map. It's uh, some kind of grayscale image of our texture. So select image, corrections, saturation and set the saturation to negative 100. Change to leveling options by pressing Ctrl L and change this value a bit. You have to check it out in game then. It's much easier, but uh, for the moment this is okay. Select OK. Next thing, select the marquee tool, select the whole image and press Ctrl C to copy it and now save it as DDS texture mdds txt5 save and now we'll be, we will create the normal map the normal map is responsible for 3d effects and details normally you create it in the autodesk software but for beginners we will fake it so uh, just select your image go to filter NVIDIA tools, select the normal map filter, check add height, set to four samples, average RGB and something like scale four. That should work and press OK. So this is the normal map. File, save as, DDS and texture, MDDS, save and save as DXT5. Close it. Open the normal map once again. OK. Select channels. Go to the alpha channel and paste in the specular map we copied before. Now turn on the RGB channels. Turn off the alpha, OK. And now file, save as, texture and DDS. OK. It looks better in game if you, uh, when you copy the specular map into the normal map. So that's it. That's the diffuse map, the normal DDS, the normal map and the specular map. I will switch to Mudbox now to show the difference. This is the naked sword object. I turn on the diffuse map now, the first DDS, that's the texture itself. I turn on the normal map now and as you see you get a 3D effect in the area of the hilt. And finally I turn on the specular map and you get this light reflection. Yeah, that's all. I delete the texture PNG, we don't need it anymore. And I renamed the texture DDS to sort DDS, sort MDDS and sort NDDS. That's all and in the next tutorial I will show you how to create the NIF files from those files. Okay, thank you very much and see you soon.